of shillings 23 trillion 972 billion. That motion with those in favor say to the contrary, no. Aye. The eye is happy. The 24 trillion shillings passed unanimously by lawmakers this afternoon will finance the 2015-2016 financial year's budget, which commences on the 1st July this year. In this next financial year's budget, the Minister of Energy has been allocated a lion's share of 2.8 trillion shillings. Uganda National Roads Authority received 1.8 trillion shillings. The Minister of Defense, 1.6 trillion shillings. Minister of Works, 998 billion shillings. Minister of Health, 539 billion shillings. Police, 540 billion shillings. Minister of Education, 426 billion shillings. State House, 258 billion shillings. And the Minister of Agriculture, with only 129 billion shillings. And these figures that we have just supplied will have to be rushed with to Entebbe and printed to the appropriation bill, which now I have the undertaking that will be done by 7 o'clock today. This is going to be financed through uh, the tax rent measures that we, we applied and also uh, through external financing and non-tax revenues uh, within our, our government. It was also revealed that extra 4.7 trillion shillings government sold for the budget was already spent by government when to purchase bonds from the central bank. The budget is expected to be read on the 11th June by Finance Minister Matia Kasaija. Parliament also passed a resolution to capitalize the central bank with 860 billion shillings. I want to agree with the amendment of the opposition uh, chief whip of 860 so that we can progress as a house. Earlier on, lawmakers had warned government about its reluctance to enforce fiscal discipline and reckless expenditure of the country's reserves in the central bank. We are perturbed when we hear the whole government of Uganda making a statement that this time we are not going to fund elections. Money is being removed from the central bank without passing through this house or legally. There is a lot of financial impropriety and impunity on the part of the executive. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.